Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Vince McMahon. No chance in hell. So Vince was this weekend's uh, event card, and he is a ruthless aggression trickster. Um, he is a focus trickster. He's got a couple links. Uh, he's got the McMahon Helmsley regime. Gems do 25% more damage. WrestleMania 22. The Authority take 40% less damage from red moves. Corporation, 60% less damage from yellow moves. Ruthless Aggression, uh, plus one charge on your matches. And he just has the stock gear, the no chance in hell gear. He was a coach. Uh, at 9k, X-Break Gems are going to do 2200 more damage. Uh, so there's that. And Vince is a very unique card. Pretty much all of the the moves are able to be used in in combination with each other. They're very, it's he's very well designed. Um, this playstyle is very different, so um, I really like him. He's a lot of fun. Um, it may take some people a little bit of getting used to on how to play him efficiently and things like that, but I think you'll see. Uh, he's quite strong and very unique and a lot of fun. So I'm going to have six different build sets for this. Um, I'm sorry I'm late getting this out. Uh, I was very busy in my personal life this weekend. Uh, plus I also chased f uh, Flash Feud leaderboards for Vince. So I simply uh, didn't have uh, time to do it proper justice. And honestly, this is one of those cards I think... Uh, a couple weeks, a um, month down the road after playing with a bunch, people are going to find builds even better than you're seeing any of us content creators running, um, as he's very, very versatile. Anyway, um, let's get in here and take a look at the first move set: Triple Purple. Uh, McMahon Stunner, 10 MP Purple, Finisher, deal 177,000 damage, choose 16 gems to make into loot gems, and pin the opponent. This is going to be a very key move for me, uh, and I think it's a lot of fun. We'll talk m a bunch more about that during the preview. The 5 MP Purple Spear deals 65k damage and make all green gems into loot gems. And the Corporate Leg Drop 5 MP Purple deals 67k damage and make all loot gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 496,000 damage. That's per trap gem broken. If broken by you, increase your purple MP by 10. So very easy to recycle the move set with that particular move. Um, you're going to see this one a bunch. Uh, it's fun. It's very powerful. Um, and you can do a lot with it. The entourage uh, for this, we're running with Woods with four more purple MP to start. Honky Tonk Man for 30% less gem damage from any colored gems. Got uh, Santa Hogan for 2,200 more damage across the board. That's including loot box gems. And then I have Ember Moon for 25% chance on the initial gem board. No big deal if you don't have Ember Moon. Uh, you could use a defensive trainer like uh, Robocina, Zombie Asuka. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could. There's a lot of different ways you could go. Um, let's take a look at the strap. I'm actually running this with the standard strap, not the the loot box gem strap because I think uh, most people won't have access to that strap. Um, so just a standard uh, strap. And then I'm actually not gonna use a skill plate for these. Uh, cheap Shot I think would be the way to go on, on most of the move sets to be honest. I'm just gonna leave it empty though. I am running double armor and I do have a very good uh, purple move damage metal. It's 200%. Um, but double armor is what I'm running. Uh, that's really the only standout thing worth mentioning is that it is a big move damage metal. So there's that. Okay. Uh, so let's get out here on the road. We're going to be running them all against Ivar here. And this can be turn one with a little bit of board love. If not, it's generally speaking pretty easy to be uh, ready. And you'll see what I mean. I do have to address one thing. Rumor has it that I did not do this preview until now uh, because it was a grand conspiracy uh, that I knew how good he was and I didn't want people to chase him for a few. That is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Just FYI. Um, I was super busy this weekend. So you can see we're going to throw this out and make all the green gems uh into loot box gems 
And then we're going to put this one out. That makes it so if you match loot box gems, you get 10 MP. Now, if it had been so this move had made a match, I would have thrown this one out first as it would refill it. But it didn't, so I didn't. So now let's throw this out. Um, you could also potentially run the smoke plate in case for, for some reason there wasn't uh, this kind of match or a purple match. You could use a blue and get three purple MP, kind of help that way. Uh, but I don't think it's too big a deal overall, really. So any one uh, of these trap gems will recharge the moves. So we're going to go ahead and just do that swipe. And now we're full. And from here, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we do have one more loot box gem. Let's go ahead and change that. Throw our trap gems out. Keep in mind, anytime the AI breaks one of these trap, trap gems, 500k damage. Also keep in mind, loot box gems are essentially like botch gems. They, um, you're not going to do a lot of damage on kickouts with those. So, instead of trying to do all of this damage by making everything loot gems, we're going to actually only want to make one match. And the reason for making the match is it will fill all of our moves back up. So if for some reason they kick out, um, you're ready to go again. So you want to start essentially looking at it like you're botching the board. I have trouble seeing, I've said this multiple times, uh, as these gems get on the board and start glowing. So it's entirely possible I will make a mistake and do a match um, here. Not the end of the world, because it's a pin anyway, right? So not the end of the world if we cascade. Just it gives them more color gems to potentially match. So that, I think, is pretty okay. Let's see how this works out. I'm going to do 500 damage on the finisher with the metal I have. And you can see uh, I did save him one match, but look at all the damage that's going out. And how hard it is for him to kick out. You can see we almost killed him. Um, almost drained his life, rather, not killed him. Uh, misspoke there. Um, and he didn't come close to kicking out. I think this is pretty unique. Um, mechanic, and it's easy to show on this build. I'm going to go ahead and run this one more time with less talking from me. And let you guys see. And this is what I mean by this build set and this, this finisher in general may not be for everyone. But it is a ton of fun and very, very strong. That's a lot of damage that goes out. Um, if they kick out, then the, the AI's got a board full of loot gems left. Um, so you're probably not taking a ton of damage from a lot of different characters. So this one, you can see here we have this green match. Um, these two greens are going to turn to loot boxes. So this time we're going to put the trap move out first. And we only need one to fill all of our purples because it's 10 MP. So this is like a uh, the uh, a great starting board, uh, and you can be turn one when this happens. Now we're completely charged. Gonna hit it again. We're gonna have a decent amount of loot box gems out, and they're gonna have traps, and then we get to have some fun. Kind of um, trying to do this stagger thing a little bit, where I'm staggering the placement on these, uh, just to make it a little bit easier as the whole board starts glowing for my eyes. I'm not sure that's the best way to go about it, but it seems to be working okay-ish for me. And like I said, you do want to make sure you leave yourself one match. We'll try and do that here at the end. Let's take this one right here. See what drops in. And ideally, trying to take it at the top is better. Okay, so there's 500k damage. Additionally, there's another million. Just really fun. Really fun. It's super neat, right? Okay, uh, I could play this all night. Um... Let's take a look at the next build set. I'm running double armor for everything. 
Uh, because the trap gems are unique in the way they work, I think double armor is probably going to be my recommendation on most move sets. These, these, some of these coming up, you could probably experiment with Fury if you wanted. If you wanted, for some reason, if you got the strap and you had Rainmaker medals and you were really convinced that loot box breaking on the finisher was the way to go, you could do that. But I think you're going to find using the finisher as botch gems uh, just seems to pay more dividends and this i don't can't remember if i said this is the five star move though the corporate leg drop so this one you won't get till five star all right <clears throat> we're bringing all new moves in um this one looks like it'll be available at four star bringing the chokehold in attitude adjustment in and then the corporate elbow So the chokehold's a sub, 8 MP red, color sub, choose 8 gems to make into loot submission gems, and do 24k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board, remaining turn into crossbreak gems. Attitude adjustment, 8 MP red, deal 82k damage and choose 7 gems to destroy, and the corporate elbow, deal 73k damage and make all purple gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 30% for 2 turns. If broken by you, deal 75k damage and increase your black MP by 5. Alright, so this one, and I do have tour perks plus 3 and plus 2 on a match. However, um, I so I don't need dual red MP trainers, but I'm setting these up to show potential feud setup. So in feud, this would get things rolling turn 1. So there's that. The choose destroy, of course, is going to come in handy. And then instead of Ember Moon, I'm just going to put Robo Cena in for a gem uh, defense coach. A lot of different ways you could go here, right? So um, I'm just putting a fairly common trainer in there. You could also use Wolfpack Sting for 2 MP red, uh, and you'd be fine in feud. Uh, it doesn't have to be 2 4 MP guys. All right, so let's get out there and run this one see how it looks this one um you, because you're getting a bunch of board destruction two words for you would be fine cheap shot would be fine um head games the botch gems leave but it does increase your crit chance so there's that too you could potentially run head games as well all right so um the sub is ready to go so is the destroy there there is you could do things right like we could um we could get these traps going right away if we wanted to and then destroy them and increase our black MP and things like that. Uh, but for this move set, I think turn one, we're just going to choose the sub uh, to go and drain your opponent. Um, and you can try putting... So we want these to survive. So I'm just going to go ahead and... I mean, they're loot box gems, so AI doesn't like to match them anyway. So I'm just going to kind of spread them out. Uh, and see what sticks at the end. Because these are going to turn into cross breaks, and we, of course, has a ch have, have a choose destroy. Uh, so that's kind of neat. <clears throat> so we can choose destroy. Um, we could try and get the traps down as well. Like, we can, you know, choose one of the... The black gems then we could put the traps down maybe you know um i think though that is what we want to do overall because uh if we get the trap gems down and the ai matches the purple um here let's just do that because i have some swipes that's going to give pretty good board destruction anyway um and I really want to get the trap gems down. And we have a ton of board to work with. So maybe even let's do... Let's just break these three. And those two. And this one. Sure, let's see what happens. Why not? For science. A ton of pin bar, so why not? Now we're going to make all the purple gems into traps. 
And let us do this number. You did a million damage there with double armor because we were destroying a bunch of the trap gems uh, that do decent damage. So you can really go a lot of different ways with this. This is kind of the more offensive one. Uh, I think the next one you're going to see a little bit more defensive, if I could, could be right. But So it, the damage adds up a lot more than you'd think because every one of those trap gems is a good chunk of damage, right? So that, that was a million pin with double armor. That's difficult to kick out of. <clears throat> Next moveset. Almost, it's very similar. We're going to keep the stub the sub uh, in the same, and instead of the black move, we are going to put the purple move in. And same sort of principle, where if we break it... Um, we get 10 purple MP, right? But if the AI breaks it, a lot more. So this one, we want on the board. So we're going to try something a little bit different on this one. Same trainers. We're just switching the move set out. Uh, so in Feud, you would have two, so you'd need to break three purple. Um, just so... I mean, I'll break three purple. No reason not to. Uh, other than I might Cascade, because it's me. And we only have four loot box gems, but we do have four. Now we have the sub. So I'm going to break one of them just to make sure <clears throat> I fill my purple trap gems up. And then uh, with the rest of them, let's try and have some where, you know, matches on those... Um, Loot box gems. Hopefully we can get those to be a thing, right? Uh, let's take away some of these options for the AI and see what happens. They're probably going to take the red one, but that's fine. Just want to try and force a few matches like that. So you can see we got a big chunk of damage out of that sub. We didn't refill it. So that's where this can kind of go sideways, right? Um, we do still have some of the cross breaks. Uh, so there's that. Um, that's kind of the downside to going offensive like this. And I'm just showing as opposed to not saving the destroy, right? We could also have to save, this, save the destroy and then go about it a different way um, as well. So there's that. And this is going to end up working out a little bit okay. So let's do this. Just getting the extra damage in. Not getting the red match is quite painful this time. So I will run this again showing holding it um, as well. Mm, 
Let's do that. Oh, hey, there we go. So this ended up looking really bad doing it this way. Generally, um, you know, it goes a little bit better than that. But the other thing is with these trap gems all over the board, when the AI hits their turn, uh, like this, he just did a million damage to himself. So it's really, it's really pretty unique. And I'm going to fill my purple move up right here. So it's just kind of fun. Uh, now we're going to re-put the trap gems out. And likely he will kill himself in the sub here. Sorry, uh, KO, pin himself, whatever you want to call it, drain his health completely. Oh, let's do this. Make it really... Now let's get rid of the matches as much as possible. And try and force... that there you go so really you're better off and i'll run this one one more time this is going to be a little bit of a long preview because there's a lot to unpack here this is a very different way of playing so that was trying to go first with it and you can see eh, the board didn't cooperate if we had a red match right away it would have looked great uh, but we didn't and that's what can go wrong there so let's play a little bit safer and less bold i guess and do the same thing except this time uh, we're going to leave the cross breaks. Or we're not going to put the trap down, gems down on turn one, rather. We're going to use the destroy on turn two. And this time we want a ton of these guys to survive. Because um, then you're, you have a kind of a big choice. We want to blow the whole board up, so... Let's leave him some matches, and then just spread this around. Oh, interesting. He's going right for the loot gems this time. That's kind of rare. Okay. So, in this setup, now we're going to blow the board up. This breaking this one gem will take out all the cross break gems. So then you can see, all right, what am I going to miss? I'm going to miss this one and this one. And we want the red gems. That's what we care about for refilling that. So that gets all of the red gems for us. After that, we can see, okay, where can we do some extra, gain some extra damage, potentially. Let's take uh, those and one more. Um, ba -bum -bum. Sure, that looks okay. So blew up the whole board pretty much. Um, we only hit for 456k, but we're running double armor. So decent chance they won't kick out. And then the next time around, um, you have your trap move ready to go with the destroy. So you put the traps down, then you put the sub down, um, and it really starts getting painful if they kick out. So that's probably the better way of running that move set. I just wanted to show both. Um, Okay, let's go next moveset. This one um, should be available at, uh, again, four star because it's got the corporate elbow in there. This is double black and the finisher. This one will probably be a little bit more traditional for people. Uh, and again, there is some interesting stuff you can do here. Um, also, ignore where I have Wolfpack Sting on there. That's supposed to be NWO Ted. Uh, but somebody forgot to swap that out when they screenshotted it. He shall remain nameless, but it was me. Um, this with uh, NWO Ted plus 2 MP, you get this started right away. So I think there's only one move we haven't seen. That's the pedigree 8 MP purple, 8 MP black. Deal 86k damage and choose 7 gems to make into purple gems. So it's a choose move. Um... And that'll go along with the rest of the stuff quite well. And you'll see what I mean here. So again, ignore that um, where it is uh, NWO Sting. That's supposed to be NWO Ted. So you can start in Feud Turn 1. Um, this one, uh, you can start with, with Perks Turn 1. So really, I can leave 
whoever I want in there and it's fine. But let's, for the purpose of the video, uh, let's actually put the right trainer in. Sorry, my apologies, everybody. Ba -ba -ba, boom. This is one of those cards where I think if you play it, you can decide uh, for yourself if you like it or not. Then we're going to Hall of Fame Eddie for one more purple gem. So we're choosing eight. Okay, so this one, again, really, really fun and a lot of options when you hit the finisher. You can really decide what you want to do. Um, you want to break at least two trap gems because um, that refills your black moose. And you want to leave purples out there as well. So it's kind of complicated, sort of, but not really. Um, so we're going to use this choose move. Uh, normally, two three matches in feud will fill you, so we'll we'll simulate feud and do two purple three matches. Hopefully, don't cascade, and we want to leave purple gems alone after that. Uh, loot box gem not as important, uh, but still good to be aware of. That's very unlikely to cause a cascade, and that's very unlikely as well. So those are pretty safe. Now, we do want to put uh, purple matches out, and we're gonna want him to hopefully match um, match those. So let's do something like this. Nope, let's not do that. Let's do something like this. Uh, there, and let's take the red. Nope. I don't like my spots here, so. We'll just do that. Okay. Now we're going to make all of our purple gems into trap gems. Keep in mind, if the opponent breaks them, it increases our gem defense heavily. 30% per trap gem. If we break them, um, a lot of damage gets done. 75k damage for each... Uh, each trap gem we break, right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so that's like 640k damage plus the finisher puts us over a million with double armor. So we could do that for an easy million, or um, we can try and break at least two to fill our black moves up in case they should kick out, which won't be hard. Um, let's do that. Let's break. Let's actually break these. We'll create this yellow cascade here as well. And then let's pretend like we're using um, botch gems. And we're going to leave this purple match for them. So he's going to swipe the purple. And that's going to give us 90% gem reduction for two turns if we keep that intact. So that's really our goal here is take away all of his other matches um, that we can see. So just to be safe... We're going to do stuff like that, like that, there, there. And it's going to be really hard to see for me here really quickly. So uh, a lot of times actually with this, honestly, I probably won't choose the whole board and make it completely glowing um, just for speed. And so I don't screw this up. I'm going to leave like that. All right. Let's see how this turned out. Perfect, the purple match right there. And he can't even kind of kick out. So it's really effective, really fun. Um, alternatively, we could have hit way harder and blew up all the trap gems, right? So two, two totally, and in fact, I'll just run this again because it is two totally different ways of playing it. And the second way where you just blow up the trap gems if there's a lot of purple will probably feel more traditional to people, less thinking, um, and blow up the trap gems and then botch the board as much as you can essentially botch it with the loot gems. So let me show you what that looks like. So even though I'm running six builds, uh, every build has a multiple ways you can go about playing it based on what the board gives you and what you're thinking. So this time there's almost no purple gems. So this would be one of those times where you'd play it the way I just did, um, instead of the way I'm going to, because we won't have as many purple gems. Um, and if you're going to play it um, 
the way I just did, what I would recommend is putting these all grouped really close. Like this, so you can... It makes your life easier. You'll see what I mean. I shouldn't have changed the loot box gem either, just FYI. So we have 5, 350k more damage. So let's go ahead and make these. Do, do, do. Make a 5 match down here. Boom. And now let's take away uh, matches. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Think. Red gems are his primary. That looks okay. Let's see how this turns out. So we hit for 900k with only a few purple gems. He did get a row break and a huge cascade, and he kicked out. He kicked out. Not the end of the world, though, because uh, all of our moves are refilled. And now we have way more purple gems. So now we can probably get a really big finisher. Like so, and let's just do, that's really good. I should have done this the first time, more like that. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 560k extra damage now. We'll do that. And let's get rid of some red gems. Not exactly sure how the board is going to fall here. So let's just see what we see. I've apparently missed a couple of those because I'm big dumb. That's okay if we get the gem defense on that one. And they just can't kick out. Like, I think, honestly, with this one, the gem defense is the way to go. But if you have enough purples, you can you can really make it bigger, push it bigger, right? Uh, so same version, except as you might expect, we are going to swap in the other trap gem move, the big, big boomer. Um, and this makes all loot gems into trap gems, so... This one really depends on loot boxes on the starting board, just how much damage this one does. I like this one a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, did I mention I like this one a lot? This one is super fun. Trainers all exactly the same. Now, theoretically, on this one, um, you could run... Um, I just put this on here. This the the plate where you break five loot gems and get six purple MP. Honestly, probably not going to be very useful most of the time. But you might find a build where you can do something interesting with. I'm just more bringing it to people's attention uh, that one of these maybe it'll be useful. Like I said, I think this is a this is a card where a couple months down the road people are going to have some crazy interesting builds. Um, I think there's a lot you can do. Okay, so this one, we don't need to save our purple gems at all. Uh, we do have a ton of loot gems, which is what we want. This is a very nice board. So we're just going to roll like this and get our two, three purple matches to get loaded up. All of these are going to become the big trap gems at 500k when the opponent matches. Now, to make sure we refill our move, we need to break at least one of these. Then our purples are refilled, so make sure you do that. Um, gotta do that. So I wanna leave as many on the board as I can beyond that. So we're just gonna break this one right here. And let's take away matches. So let's take this away, that away. 
we don't want red gems. So let's just start filling this in here. Really hard for me to see. I'm sure a lot of you will be able to do this much faster. At this point, it gets very hard to see. And this last one, I'm just going to say I'm not going to. I think that's fine there. All right, well, let's find out. It was fine. All right. So let's see how this goes. Loot box gems. And he actually didn't match any extra damage really that time, which is funny. But they can't kick out because of all the loot box gems. So you see another really, really powerful moveset. Easily turn oneable. But let's say you don't have two black MP trainers. Um, okay. That didn't sound good. Uh, you have two black MP trainers um, in use elsewhere and you can't use them. Uh, let's say, so you're, let's do it with a, with a different starting mechanism. Instead of the choose, let's use the destroy here. So what we're going to do is change one move and both of the MP trainers. Since it's just choose seven to destroy. We're going to bring in, oops, uh, where'd you go? Wrong one. Oop. We're going to bring in um, Sting. Wolfpack, uh, yeah, regular Sting. Yeah, Wolfpack Sting. Not Wolfpack Sting. Crow Sting. Uh, and Butch for more eight, eight total MP to start. You could use one of the two red MP um, ones as well in Feud, Wolfpack Sting, and I think there's one other. No, Shamrock's one red. So yeah, hopefully you have um, Wolfpack Sting. Uh, or you have this Sting. One of the Stings. You need one of the Stings. And then I'm just going to put Robocina in for this one. You could, a lot of different ways you could go. You could be using move damage ones because the finisher is decent size. I'm just trying to stay with mostly, except when you need the extra MP guys, uh, common trainers for to start turn one and feud. Um, you could always do more damage and add different trainers uh, potentially too. So I do it. Gem defense. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's get rocking and rolling. So, ideally, um, With this one, you we need to load the finisher. Uh, we need six right now. In feud, um, I think you're going to need like seven unless you can get a three match. We don't have that three match. Um, we do have six that we can destroy, though. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I do see the five swipe, just so you know. I see it. That's going to create a big old cascade, though. Four, five, six. Let's try it like that. <laughs> oh, big cascade. So now we're the same as the other set. Um, we're loaded. And we just need to match one of these to... Reload the finisher. And go ahead and take that one.
All right, let's see how we do. Blue match down there, so I didn't do great there. I didn't do my job. There we go. Bunch of damage ticks in. That's the really cool thing, is that it looks like you're not going to do this much damage, then all of a sudden, boom, you do a ton of damage. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm going to try that one one more time with the Choose Destroy. Um, definitely harder than the Double Black to get loaded. I also really kind of like the Triple Purple, but it is board dependent a little bit. Um, it's, it's really hard to say where I'm going to end up on this. Uh, overall. Also, if this is one of those where if you have like a MP line bonus, it'll be particularly nasty because you could use another color trainer and have this loaded with the destroy and then use that to fill this with only destroying one trap. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you have a line bonus uh, or like um, Hogan. I don't think there's a red purple dual MP trainer yet. When there, If there ever is, look out. That would be amazing. But you could also do I think move charge i think apa is blue blue and purple purple and green yeah we're gonna put him on anyway just for a two mp one and this makes it way easier if you have like a plus plus one maybe you got santa hogan anyway it opens up more options right Maybe you have an NWO perfect and you don't wanna you wanna be able to save your trainers. So this one makes your life really easy. Now you just destroy one loot box gem. Everything's full. Might as well get this extra damage in. The only downside is we only have three of these uh, loot box gems now. And just don't forget to refill your moves by breaking one every time. That's the key. Keep refilling your moves. Big key there. Now we definitely want to take away matchy matchies. Uh, there, here, here, here. It's so messy. I think we're okay. Yeah, we did all right. So there you guys go. Uh, that's... That's Vince. This is a really long preview, one of the longest I've done, and uh, this is why I waited. I simply didn't have time. Like I said, there's a ton to unpack here. I feel like there's so much more that could be done and explored. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm positive that there's a better build out there. Um, I, I, I did get him on the leaderboards. Well, I will get him when the event ends. So I plan on leveling him up and playing with him and plan on me making my own five-star video when I get there after I have a bunch of time to play him. Because I'm not even really certain for sure which plates I would use in situations. And I just think he's going to be a really fun card for me because he plays super unique. Uh, and I enjoy it a lot. So this is one of those where I think... Uh, the community is going to need to play a ton and there's going to be a lot to, to like and find here. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, remember to like, subscribe and share as that really helps me out. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and will actually watch it uh, since it's late. Other than that, guys, uh, thanks for watching and good luck out there.